Hi, I'm Jonathan Edwards, and this is Be Still and Know. Let's hear what God is saying to us today. Luke chapter 15, verses 4 and 5. If a man has a hundred sheep, and one of them gets lost, what will he do? Won't he leave the 99 others in the wilderness and go to search for the one that is lost until he finds it? And when he's found it, he will joyfully carry it home on his shoulders. This is such a beautiful story. You can picture the shepherd as he makes sure the 99 precious sheep are safe and warm and then trudges out into the wilderness to look for the one that was lost. It's a heartwarming story, but it doesn't really make any sense. Economically, why would you run the risk of endangering 99 sheep by leaving them all alone in the desert to search for just one sheep who constitutes, let's face it, only 1% of your business? Surely the shepherd should protect 99% of his business and hope that the silly lost sheep would somehow wander home. The only explanation for a shepherd acting in this way is love. He sets out to search for the lost sheep because he really cares for each of them. This gives us an insight into the way in which Jesus lived and worked. He spent a lot of time with people who everyone else considered to be lost causes. He could have spent his time comfortably in Jerusalem, having interesting conversation with the religious people. But Jesus chose to go to the people who lived on the edge of society. Poor people, children, women people with leprosy, prostitutes and tax collectors. He was looking for the lost sheep. In our churches today, we must ensure that we never stop seeking the lost. It's easy to get comfortable and to shape our church life and activities to suit ourselves. But Jesus reminds us that we exist to reach out to people in his name, people who may be rejected by society and completely unlike us. And when they turn to Christ and find new life in him, wow, we should have a party. Now let me ask you a question. In what way are you seeking to reach the lost? And now let me pray with you. Lord Jesus Christ, thank you that you've been a shepherd to us. Help us to reach out to others with your arms of love. Amen. Well, thanks for listening. I do encourage you to join me every day for Be Still and Know here on Premier. Don't forget that the talks are also available on podcast, which you can access at any time. If you'd like to receive a free copy of our magazine, Voice of Hope, which contains all of these devotionals and a great deal more besides, please visit premier.org.uk forward slash voice of hope. God bless you. Do hope you have a really good day.